Howdy folks, welcome back to Resale and Niche. My name is Mo, and on this channel we discuss everything to do with reselling, including selling on places like eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and Macari. Let's get right into it. I've got 20 used items today that I sold on eBay. Let's see what I sold them for. Starting off, I sold, and this was actually in a what's uh, my one of my haul videos, so post it up here so you can see it later. This is a Jiminy Cricket plush, uh, Walt Disney exclusive, I believe it is, of uh, Walt Disney Productions plush stuffed animal. Um, and this one, I believe I got this for $4.99. I'm blanking on the price of this one, but it's in my haul video. This one sold for $42.79 out the door. Sold pretty fast, actually, so I'm wondering if I priced it a little bit too low. I did take an offer on it. But anyways, happy to see it go fast. Next up here, this is a shirt that I've sold multiple times or different incarnations of it. This is a Venice Beach Arnold Schwarzenegger Muscle Beach t-shirt. It's just basically Arnold flexing on the front. And um, this one sold for $22.88 and I had pennies into it. I've sold this one, like I said, multiple times before or ones like it. Next up, this was a print. It was on cardboard. I picked it up uh, just randomly from a Goodwill, I believe. And it was $3.99. Um, and uh, it was a vintage Joe Milch Navy Grumman Hellcat signed limited edition matted. Uh, it looks like a drawing almost, but it's a print. Sold for $34.63 out the door. Very light, so it went first class. Uh, easy to ship. Just shipped it flat, sandwiched between cardboard. Next up was another piece from that same haul video uh, I had a few weeks back. 1970s Casey Jones puppy dog. Uh, stuffed animal plush. Uh, Knickerbocker number 10C1. I believe I had $4.99 into this one. It sold for $28, including tax and shipping. And this one it was like that first one I just mentioned. It went pretty fast, so I just let it go. All right. Uh, this next piece is a piece I sell quite often. I sell a lot of North Face. Prices have dropped a little bit. Um, this was just a half zip Vapor Wick, uh, kind of a warm-up pullover shirt. Had about $1.99 into this one, and it sold for $32.26, including tax and shipping. All right, next up, I bought a big lot of magazines to do with uh, comic books. This one was sealed. Uh, I have several more in the lot that I picked up. Um, when I broke down the lot, this was about $1.50. Uh, this one sold for $31.79. It's an Inquest magazine, number seven from 1995, has Wolverine on the cover. There weren't very many sold comps, uh, but they were, actually some of them were going for pretty low and some of them were going for pretty high. So they're all over the place. So I kind of just went right in between the two. All right, next up, this is a uh, silver platter that I've had for many years, actually. I'm happy to see it go. Um, and it actually sold before and was returned, and I kept the packaging that it was in because it was still packaged really well, so I didn't have to package it once, so that's oh, awesome. Yeah. So I believe I had $2.99 into this one. Uh, so Arthur Court Designs Koi Fish Platter sold for $42.27 out the door. And it's basically in a flat cardboard thing, but had a lot of padding in it, so it wasn't completely flat. All right, next up. Another tank tops, Captain America, just a basketball jersey type thing. Nothing fancy. Had a buck, have about a buck into this, maybe less. So for $24.99 out the door. And I sell these all the time. Uh, if you can get them for a buck or less, pick them up and they will sell eventually because people like superhero stuff. All right. This next piece I picked up at, uh, I believe it was an eco thrift in Sacramento. Um, I paid $2.99 for this one, and I was a little bit annoyed when I picked this up because there were about, I think, 10 of them. But this one was priced at $2.99. All the other ones were pay priced at like $9.99 or $12.99, something ridiculous like that. And um, when I went to ask, I said, you know what, these are all the same things. They just said, well, sorry, that one was priced a week before these other ones, so, or, you know, some time before those other ones. So 
we cannot discount the other ones, so those prices are correct. So I only picked up the one, $2.99, and it sold for $23.05. Vintage Fire McDonald's, like, like Fire King McDonald's uh, mug. Uh, it looks like a kind of a semi-see-through white glass mug. So it's a hawking mug, it says. So that sold pretty fast, though. All right, next up, this is a Hawaii North Shores Islands t-shirt. I pick these up all the time. They're sometimes even different brands, but the North Shore, the Hawaiian theme t-shirts do really well for me, especially if they have figures on the front, surfers on the front, something like this. This one, I believe, had an iguana on the front. Picked it up for $1.99. It sold for $26.74 out the door. Okay. My buddy Leroy Blood, Sweat, and Cell is always going on about tools, so I've started to look in that section in the thrift store or wherever I'm at. Also, Julian um, uh, from, oh my goodness, why am I blanking on his name? Um, Bearded Thrift Machine on YouTube, excuse me. Uh, he does a lot of tools too. Check out both of their videos Blood, Sweat, and Cell, Bearded Thrift Machine awesome channels so this was a miller's falls this is number 1417 vintage carpenters hammer made in the usa i picked this one up for i think 199 probably about two months ago sold for 51 dollars and 64 cents uh, my reasoning for picking up was it just looked really old uh, had some markings on it that just looked very old not that much marked on it actually but uh, enough to where i could figure out what the brand was and like I said, I don't really know much about tools, but I'm learning. I sold a lot of members only jackets in the past. They kind of go up and down. It seem to go up whenever they're in the movies or TV shows that are coming out. Things like Stranger Things. Oh my God. Um, when that came out, one of the main characters used to wear a Stranger, uh, excuse me, a members only jacket. I believe that one was gray. So the prices of that went up then. They've kind of dropped a little bit. Uh, they're very nostalgic, though, so if you see them for cheap, pick them up. This one was a Europe craft version. I'm not sure if that's just a European version of the same thing. I uh, picked up for $2.99. It sold $32.15 out the door. Okay, when I pick up jerseys, if I can pick up something that's a little bit unique, I do that all the time. This was not a real jersey. It's kind of like warm-up jersey. Detroit Pistons training camp jersey. It was reversible, though, so that was something I could put in the description, um, even though I didn't put in the title for some reason, I'm not sure why, but anyways, picked it up for, I believe, 99 cents and sold for $21.44 out the door. Okay, I picked up a lot of peanuts, you know, Snoopy puzzles uh, a few months back. Uh, this is another one that sold. I believe I had $3.99 into this one. And it sold for $25.51 out the door. Very light. I believe it even went first class. Okay, this is a brand that I picked up. Probably picked this one up about 18 months ago. I picked up two jackets. Merith Francois Gourbaud. It's a, that it sounds French, but it's a made in Hong Kong denim jacket. It's like a long denim jacket from the 90s. Uh, I had sat for a while, like I said, and I had it priced for a lot higher. I had, I believe, $4.99 in this one. I sold for $85.02. It did sit for a long time, though, but I guess with the colder weather, uh, this type of clothing is moving faster. Okay, this is a Miltech Men's Multi Pocket Hunting and Fishing Vest. I had about 50 cents into this as part of a lot, and I sold for $50.60. I've never heard of the brand before, but Camo stuff always does well for me. Hats, uh, sweatshirts, vests, uh, even shorts and pants, that type of thing. So uh, if you can get it for cheap, pick it up. Yeah. Okay, this was just a basic Reebok, kind of a major wicking type shirt. They call it something else, they call it Speed Wick. Had 99 cents in this one, sold for $14.99, including tax and shipping. Okay, North Face seems to be moving a little bit faster for me now. This North Face flash dry shirt, it's kind of a yellow, green, neon color. I had about $1.99 into this one. $31.79 out the door for this one. Okay, and last up for today. Uh, this was a, a shirt that actually I owned, so I didn't actually pay anything for it. Well, 
I shouldn't say that. I paid the original price, which was probably about 20 bucks actually at the concert. Uh, it's a Beastie Boys in the, the round world, in the round world tour. It's from the 90s, I believe 1998, if I can remember correctly. Size medium, so the size is not great. Uh, I had this up for, I believe, three ninety nine. I took an offer of two seventy eight seventy four, including tax. And Hell shipping, yeah! Um, for this shirt, and like I said, I've had this for decades, and it sold. And I'm happy to see it go. So that was my big sale of the day. So if you enjoyed this video, please check out our other sold videos. Until the next one, see ya. Bye.